There's a national movement that uh, is decluttering homes and saving money in the process. WCCO's Aaron Hassanzadeh followed the chain of giving in one Twin Cities neighborhood and found it is also building new connections with neighbors. It all started with a simple idea. Hello. Give away what you don't want and ask for the things you need. There's three types of posts. So there's ask and then give and gratitude. After moving from Brooklyn and realizing her neighborhood didn't have a buy nothing online group, Sadie Struss started her neighborhood chapter. I was member number one, yes. The group now has nearly a thousand members who are saving money, cutting down on waste, and meeting their neighbors in the process. Everyone, I think, is just looking for some type of connection. Sadie's little one wasn't into this toy anymore, so it made its way to Maura Caldwell's house. She uses it in so many different ways. Just about everywhere you look, Maura's house is dotted with treasures others gave away. This bunk bed came from a family on Buy Nothing, so this whole room was sort of pieced together for nothing. And you're able to sort of see what people are going through within this group by what they're asking for and what they're giving. And Hello! I think it's really been a great way to get to know neighbors, too. Mara posted in the group that she had this costume that her kids all wore. Mara's old Halloween costume ended up at Mira Neiman's house this fall. And it has a little tail. So <laughs> and this summer, when Mira's garden exploded. Half my other crops died, but for some reason my tomatoes went crazy. She teamed up with her mom to can all those extra tomatoes with an ask and an offer for the group. I need your jars, but also I will gift you sauce. And it just like created a, you know, a sense of community in my community that I hadn't had. Bye. I know half the neighbors now. I know their names. Hello. So she posted these and I got really excited because I knew he would, he would love them. He kind of loves to do like five, four, three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> Jabe Kaiser's two-year-old is enjoying things that Mira's kids no longer did. There are so many things that you buy that are just very short-lived. We're new to Minnesota, um, and so it's been a great way to meet neighbors. And one of those neighbors, J.C. Cross, took Jabe up on an offer to clear out old party decorations. After the party, I was like, Maybe somebody would want this balloon arch. I don't know. I use it for my six year old's birthday party. And I was like, well, it's 16 feet. It probably won't fit in your car. Um, so he actually walked over here and he carried it a 16 foot balloon arch back to his house. You know, we put it out back and we had a couple bouncy castles. It turned out to be a beautiful day in October. People share stuff that I wouldn't think would be shared. Like you know? what? like rolls of empty rolls of toilet paper. For many, this group is a window into the lives of others. It's just too easy to live life alone. Going through life's seasons. This was one of the first outfits that I got from the group for when my daughter was a preemie. There are people whose parents have passed away and they are getting rid of, you know, their things. I went through an unfortunate and unwanted divorce. Being a part of something like this gives people an opportunity to connect and get to know one another and share life together. With the people you live next to, but never really know. You really get to see them through some of the most important parts of their life. Unearthing our basic unifying humanity that was always just a house or two over. That's been really wonderful and helps us all see each other um, as humans and as neighbors and, and connect in that way. In Minneapolis. It's been a real blessing. You just realize a whole community kind of has your back and that's wonderful. Aaron Hassanzada. WCCO 4 News. And there are chapters all around Minnesota. If you want to find or start your own, we have information on WCCO.com.